there, I'm Austin, and I like cooking stuff. Do you like cooking stuff? You know what? Let's go inside. Let's cook some stuff. Oh, hey, welcome to Cooking Stuff. I'm your host, Austin. Today we're going to be cooking some... What are we cooking? Hey! That looks pretty good, doesn't it? This is mom. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, welcome to Cooking Stuff. I'm your host, Austin. Today we're going to be making Spanish quinoa stuffed peppers. But before we get started, first things first, clean that kitchen. Take a break now and clean that kitchen. One thing I like to do before I start cooking stuff is put on a nice little record in the background to really set the mood and especially match the course of the evening. In this case, a little Huey Lewis in the news. I think I might just do the trick. S set the atmosphere just right. It's hip to be square. Today's ingredients are going to include one cup of quinoa, two cups of vegetable stock, four large bell peppers, half a cup of salsa, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, two teaspoons of cumin powder, one and a half teaspoon of chili powder, one and a half teaspoon garlic powder, 15 ounces of black beans, drained. You can add salt later if needed. One cup of whole kernel corn, or in our case, actual roasted corn. Toppings can include one ripe avocado, fresh lime juice, hot sauce, green onion, the pineapple. Some cooking items you will also need will be large mixing bowl, saucepan, baking sheet with aluminum foil, and of course some red wine just to drink. Our first step today is going to be getting the quinoa going. Quinoa takes a little bit longer than all the other ingredients for this recipe, so that's definitely the first thing you're going to want to do. So I've already pre-measured the quinoa and the vegetable stock. And the reason we're going to be using vegetable stock today is it adds a little more flavor because you're going to want to add, you're going to want that flavor in there. You can also use water if you don't have vegetable stock. I didn't. I had to go to the store to get the stuff. But it's worth it because that extra flavor is going to add a lot when you're getting to the bottom of that stuffed pepper. And what's going to be down there but some real tasty quinoa. It's going to cook for about 20 minutes total. We're going to bring it up to a nice boil. And once we're at high temp, Quinoa's boiling, looking good, smelling good. I'm gonna put a lid on it, take it down to low heat. We're gonna let that thing simmer, just like rice, until it gets real fluffy and soft. About 20 minutes or so. Quinoa's known for having a lot of nutrients, like protein and like vitamin A and E and G. All the vitamins are in quinoa. Everybody knows that. So, we're gonna be using quinoa instead of rice to make it a little more nutritious for us. Okay? Ooh, all right, now our quinoa is flowing high, boiling high. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the lid on top, turn it down to low heat, either a low setting or like a one or a two, if your thing has a two, mine has a two and a three. And we're gonna let that simmer for about 20 minutes until that quinoa starts getting fluffy, starting to look like rice. And the beauty about cooking quinoa this style is we don't have to remove or drain any of the water, in this case, vegetable stock, because it's gonna absorb into the quinoa. So we're just gonna make it real flavorful. So now that this is gonna simmer for 20 minutes, we're going to keep this train moving. We're going to start cutting stuff up. Let's wash some vegetables, huh? Bam. Right. So now that the quinoa is slowly cooking away over here, soaking up all that great vegetable oil, gonna add a lot of flavor. Now that the vegetables are washed, we're going to slice them up. Now the thing about slicing up the peppers for stuffed peppers, there's two ways to go about it. You can cut it all the way in half, makes it easier to stuff, easier to serve up, but that's not what we're gonna like to do it here on uh, Cooking Stuff with Austin. We like to make things complicated for no reason. So we're actually going to cut open the top like a pumpkin, hollow it out like a pumpkin, and then carve a little cute little face and then serve it up all little kitties take The thing you want to do, keep in mind when you're carving up the top of a pepper, is I would recommend using a smaller cutting knife as opposed to a big vegetable knife. Because you want to really be able to get in there with some precision. Because treat it just like you're carving a pumpkin, you want some precision. 
Okay, so now what we're gonna do, now that the peppers are hollowed out, we're gonna add some nice oil. We're gonna lube them up real nice with some tasty oil to add a nice shine and help them cook once they're in the oven. The oil that I'm going to be using is coconut oil. You just take a nice brush if you have it, just grease it up inside and out. You're gonna do each one separately, or if you can figure out how to oil them up together at the same time, that'd be cool. I've never done starving right now. All right, so this recipe is gonna call for a cup of corn. Now, you can use a can of corn, easy to do, tastes pretty good, but in this case, I'm actually going to roast the corn, ears of corn, in the oven beforehand, so when it comes time to add the cup of corn, shear right off, adds a nice little roasted flavor. Roast it. So we're gonna put the corn right in the oven. I got fogged up, I can't see. Those will be good for about, you know, 20 minutes or so roasting in there. Maybe flip it, you don't really even have to. Once they're done, shuck it. Carve it. Oh boy. Uh, guys, keep your eyes out for smoke. These look like these might catch on fire at some point. All right, so now that the quinoa is done, the corn's finishing up. Our next step is we're gonna go ahead and uh, make the big filling that's gonna go inside of all the peppers. So we've got our quinoa here. We're gonna go ahead and mix all the quinoa that we made within all the other ingredients that we had set out earlier. So that's gonna include those black beans, that's gonna include the salsa, it's gonna include all the spices and all the extra stuff that's gonna make all the flavor in there. So once that's all mixed in together, we're just gonna stir up that pot and make a nice little filling to put in those peppers. All right, now that we have all the other ingredients mixed into the bowl with the quinoa, now it's time to add in what I like to call a hachi chachi move. Hachi chachi move is when you add in an item or ingredient, it might not have been on the recipe, but it's something that you think will add a lot to this dish. So today's hachi chachi move for Spanish style quinoa stuffed peppers is goat cheese. It's hip to be square. You might be asking yourself, Austin, why goat cheese? Why are you cooking stuff with goat cheese? Well, my thinking behind the goat cheese is to add a nice creamy flavor to the filling, to really mellow it out and spread it into the peppers and add a lot of flavor in there. Now, you also may be asking yourself, well, Austin, how much goat cheese did you add in? You know what? That's for me to know and for you to find out. I want you to have your own hachi chachi move for this dish. See, you might need to extra f me. The last step we're gonna do before popping these bad boys into the oven is we're going to stuff the peppers with the filling. Now don't be afraid to really get in on these greasy bad boys. They're sliding around like ice pucks in here. And the thing you wanna keep in mind, the more you stuff it, the more that's in there. It's science. So really get them in there. And don't be afraid to really get your hands in there Fill out all the little holes and crevices of that peppers. Because the more you get in there, the more flavor you're gonna have when it comes time to these bad boys are ready for you. So just keep on stuffing them, sliding them around. So now that the peppers are stuffed, they're about ready to go in the oven. The last step we're going to do before we put them in the oven though is we're gonna wrap them in aluminum foil. The reason you're gonna do that is you don't want any direct heat or flame from the oven getting on them because that's just gonna roast the skin faster than they can cook in the middle. So that's why you're gonna wrap them in a little bit of aluminum foil, keep the direct heat off of it, and then halfway through in about 10 to 15 minutes, we're actually gonna remove the aluminum foil to let them finish out cooking. Pop it on top like that. Give it a nice little tin foil hat. 
And then these uh, Wizard of Oz babies are ready to go in the oven, am I right? Ooh, that's hot! Sounds like we're almost there. Now we're going to remove the peppers, take off the aluminum foil, take the heat up to 400 and cook for an extra 10 to 15 minutes or until those peppers are real soft and looking real nice. Hachi chachi, those smell good. We're gonna let these set out for about five to 10 minutes, let them cool so you don't burn the tongue, run the whole meal. Uh, but they look fantastic. I hope yours turned out this good. Well, that's pro shot, bro. That's pro. All right, to go along with our stuffed peppers though, you might want a little extra toppings. People can pick and choose what they wanna put on top. Tonight we have some avocado, some sliced green onion, some lime juice that you can squeeze on top, and a little bit of the hachi chachi recipe of the day, a little extra goat cheese on top. And then of course sriracha because you put sriracha on everything in the entire world. Well, that's the wrap up of this week's episode of Cooking Things with Austin. We all enjoyed the meal. I hope you made it home all right. <laughs> well, that about wraps up this episode of Cooking Things with Austin. Um, you can find this recipe on a website somewhere or on this URL link at the bottom of the screen. You can go here, all the ingredients are there. Everything's planned out, and then you can just watch this video over and over again. Tune in next time for cooking stuff, and we're gonna cook something else. So. store.